Hello everyone, we're here for the Junk Vec Tech. Um, this is the third time I've tried to record this. I keep getting notifications from work popping up on my phone and making it impossible to be um, productive. So anyway, um, I wanna, first thing I want to talk about is this curve. I really, on the top right of the screen, you can see that I'm very condensed into the three slot um, and not going any higher than the four slot. Um, I think that I might have to I would like to focus on trying to make that a little lower, although right now for this three drop slot, this is kind of what's working for me. Um, 20 units, um, 25 power, 26 spells, and four attachments. So basically you have 20 units, 30 non-units, and um, 25 power. So I, I kind of want to get around, I want to talk about the main cards that I built this deck around, and then I'm going to talk about the support cards and then we'll talk about synergies amongst them and the reason why certain cards are here um the first card i built this around was awakened student um so this guy right here is somewhat underappreciated at times even though right now he's running kind of hot um this this two drop can be gross and if you can get if you can get one or two of these guys down and just and just run with him uh he can finish the game out really quickly um the second card that I chose to put in here is obviously the, the Sandstorm Titan, the Darude, um, 5-6, Endurance, Units Can't Fly, 4 mana. Um, yeah, I could go on about this guy, but obviously this guy is one of the best in the, in, the, in the game period. And then also right now I've noticed that a lot of people aren't running um, Annihilate as much as they used to. So right now he's actually sneaky good. Um, third card I built this around uh, would be the Auric Instigator. Um, he basically is our uh, Dark Confidant. Uh, if you can buff him up to 5 power, um, he draws you a card at the end of every turn and you lose a life. Now, it's not at the beginning of the turn, so that's, just, that's marginally worse, but he is only doing you 1 damage. So, And there's many ways that we can buff him up for 1 power. Um, so those are the top three. Uh, the fourth one is kind of like a, a, uh, synergy card, um, which would be stand together. Um, this, this deck, this basically says, uh, uh, counter, counter your board wipe, um, or give everything plus one plus one, which, which ties really well in with the work instigator. Um, he'll draw you a card, you know, after the end of the turn. This is really good. You're getting an extra damage because at the end of the day, we are a beat down deck, and we're trying to fade those kill spells and fade those board wipes as much as possible. Um, so secondarily, um, some cards that I decided to throw in there because they they work really well. Um, Seraph. This card is actually one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, it just I don't really. <laughs> it's just one of my favorite cards in the game. So uh, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, if you throw this thing down, it's also, this card's also sneaky good, where it can, um, it, it gets around Torch, uh, it gets around Vanquish, and it has Overwhelm. And then at the end of the game, you know, it, you're just dumping cards every turn onto the battlefield, and there's not much they can do about it, especially if you have it protected with Stand Together. I think that, you know, so I'm going to put this as like, if I have a the first choice, this is like, if I had like Tier 1, in my Tier 1 of these, this, uh, this build, my first my first initial thought process was Awakened Student, Auric Instigator, or in Interrogator. I've been saying that wrong the entire time. Or Sandstor and Sandstorm Titan. My choice 1.5, my tier 1.5 was Seraph. Okay. So now um, we're going to go into the last unit in the deck here, um, which is Copper Hall Bailiff. Um, the reason I chose this is right now tokens are like silly good, and uh, Copper Hall Bailiff can basically fight that and it's it can pop ages it can do a lot of things and we're and we're in, we're in the um we're in the market of popping ages and dropping down um token buffs so that, that's really that's really where that stands and plus you know yeah it, it has a you know it's a two three which is nothing to scoff at it either um so all right so now we're going to go into the basically the tie together as you know um, so like I said, stand together. It, it ties really well with the the plan we're making. We're going on here. Um, Zenon uh, initiation. Um, so basically, I'm looking to give that to either 
the interrogator or a sandstorm titan or anything really and that's just basically a kill spell but it can get around ages so it's something also to think about um you can give it to seraph even though sometimes giving a seraph is a double-edged sword because you put her into vanquish range which is kind of bad um so that's a card that ties really well with the interrogator another card that ties really well with the interrogator is dark return um you can give it plus one plus one and draw an extra card at the end of every turn um, but, the, you know, the Dark Returns is just a good card to have in general. Um, because, I mean, with the Bailiff, uh, you can bring it back, play it again, and then drop their units down another another attack, which is devastating. Um, that's basically all, like, basically the synergies or the tie-togethers, you know. Um, another thing, we're looking to strip the hand with the duresses. And then we're looking to... To uh, either, just depends. I use this like differently. Sometimes I go to the hand. Sometimes I use this as a bounce spell, where I just basically bounce to the hand if I have a developed board, and then I just start smashing because you know by that time usually I have a bunch of sandstorm titans or interrogators. Oh, and there is one more. Um, sorry, Eddie. This is a huge one actually. Blood letter. Um, plus three, plus three, and they get life link this turn. You jam this on to the interrogator, it becomes a 7-6, it jams in, gains you 7 life, and at the end of the turn draws you a card, and doesn't even do a damage to you because it has life steal as well. And as long as it has life steal, even though it's doing damage to you, it gains you that life after it does a damage to you, so you don't lose any damage at all. That was a big one. I oh, can't believe I forgot that one actually. But Okay. And for Slay, one of the best removal spells in the game. Um, and then we're doing so the Force for Slay, and then we're splitting the Death Strikes and Vanquishes. Uh, just for, just for, honestly, the Death Strikes in there for the fastest instant speed, and the Vanquishes are in there for the, um, the mana efficiency. So, that's really it. Um, the deck is pretty straightforward. Um... Uh, not much to say about it other than that. Like, we have the seek power in there because we actually do have a lot of double. So we have double shadow, double justice, and we have double time. So, and also double shadow. So, you know, it, that's what is going on in this deck. Um, that's really it. Just playing good stuff, low to the ground good stuff, and jamming. Um, and it seemed to be working all right for me right now. I know I'm only in the silver rankings, but silver rankings is usually kind of competitive. Um, I made masters two different years, two different two different months. But anyway, I just wanted to go over this deck list for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will uh, see you in the next game.